Bitcoin crash, so I need to figure out ways of making money online. Ultimately, getting to what I think is the number one long-term way to make good money online right now. I scoured the internet looking at shady Ponzi-like money schemes. I could have created an OnlyFans and sold feet pictures, but I didn't want to pay for a pedicure. And I could have sold my underwear on sniffer.com, but that's gross because I don't wear underwear. I'm going to waste so much time because I'll just be stuck researching or I'll get scammed into an MLM or a cult, which is basically the same thing. Nothing scammy or unethical like stealing people's content or no multi-level marketing schemes because I like my friends and family and I want to keep them. So please save a kitten's life today and dance on that like button. This kitten thanks you. So here are going to be seven ethical, legitimate ways to make money online without having to scam people or trick people into an MLM. First, converting cash to USDC or other stable coins to earn interest anywhere from 7.5% to 14%. It's a specific cryptocurrency that's tied to basically $1 would equal one USDC, USD coin. Get your $25 in free Bitcoin when you trade $100 inside Voyager. Voyager happens to be the app that I converted my spare cash into USDC to collect 9% interest. You can always use Nexto. Nexto has 10 to 12%, Crypto.com 6 to 14%. And this depends on how long you lock up your crypto and also how much CRO tokened you state. Most crypto earning platforms have the highest security standards. If there happens to be a hack, you have the potential of losing out on your crypto. Trading crypto and stocks. I've been a profitable swing trader trading Bitcoin initially from 3000 to and growing it to 10,700 from 2018 to 2020. If you can't stomach the volatility and the massive swings that you're going to see, trading is not going to be for you. It's always recommended to test with fake money while you're learning how to trade or very little money. And even though Bitcoin is the highest performing asset of the last decade, that doesn't mean people don't get wrecked. So please be careful. It also applies to stock, stock photography and videography. If you're a photographer, videographer, content creator, or willing to learn and take better pictures, then providing stock photography, videography can make you some money while it's not going to make and replace your day job income. It could potentially generate anywhere from 150 to 350 a month. This is going to take finding an underserved niche, shooting photos and videos that businesses want and tagging with the right keyword search terms. Photographers earn anywhere from two cents to point zero 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 three cents the semi-professional photographer earns anywhere from five cents to 25 cents per month per uploaded photo according to phtutorial.com there's anywhere from 150 to 350 a month on stock video using blackbox.global Blackbox submits your footage to all stock footage sites it's free and instead of needing to submit it yourself to all of them they do take a hefty 15% commission when your content sells. If you know your footage will sell, it might be better to self-submit to a site like Shutterstock since you'll get 15 to 40% commission depending on how many people buy your stock license for the year. Join a freelancing platform or just freelance. For previous businesses I've worked on, I've used Upwork, I've used Fiverr for things like logos, podcast voiceovers, I freelance copywriting, email marketing. The highest paying skills pay anywhere from $90 to $250 an hour. So if you happen to have these skills, you'll be able to make a considerable amount freelancing on these platforms. I've been paid anywhere from $50 to $60 an hour from freelancing. And I legitimately considered quitting my job. This would have equated to a six figure salary matching my current salary. But caveat, it's a constant grind trying to get your next gig and client. So if you can get the experience and you can start charging more and then you can be selective of who you work with. In the beginning, it's a little bit harder and you have to put in the work, but it can be a lucrative avenue.
build an e-commerce store. E-commerce is a broad category of selling products online. New sellers spend around $3,836 to start selling on Amazon based on Jungle Scout's research where they served thousands, served, served, what is served? surveyed thousands of Amazon sellers. You're gonna focus on finding or creating a product that meets a specific demand that an audience needs the most. And main e-commerce platforms to get started with are Etsy, Shopify, and Amazon. There are interesting types of e-commerce business models that can work. Dropshipping, this is a fulfillment method where the store doesn't keep the products, it sells, and then when a sale comes through, it goes directly to the customer. Two, selling products that you've created. Depending on the product, you might need to work with the engineer to come up with the prototype and the design first, and then find a manufacturer that can create the product. White label products. White labeling products is where a manufacturer provides you with their suite of white label products where you can place your own branding on it. Four, print on demand, a fulfillment method where products are print as soon as the sale is made and you sit on no inventory. Five, Amazon FBA or Walmart WFS, a fulfillment method where sellers can store their inventory with Amazon or Walmart fulfillment centers and Amazon and Walmart handle all shipping, including returns, refunds, warehouse storage, and package and picking. Next is platform arbitrage. Arbitrage is just a fancy word for buying low and selling high. Platform arbitrage is just finding the price differences between platforms to make a profit. This is also known as flipping. This method can be semi-online since gathering the items, you might have to physically meet up with the buyers and the sellers. Let's start with flipping items. You can garage sale flip and sell it online. This is something that Gary Vee does all the time. You can watch his series online. You can buy on Alibaba and sell it at swap meets. I had a friend who created this type of business and he was making 60 to 70,000 and he met swap meet vendors that were making six figures. If you can find the right product and you can deliver to a market that needs it and doesn't have the ability to get it at a lower price online, you will find a way to make this profitable. You can check places like Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, or apps like OfferUp and let go. Flipping services. A lot of people think that flipping needs to be items, but it can be services as well. The basic concept is find a high paying client and then outsource the work to a freelancer or build a virtual team to handle all your client work. Flipping NFT non-fungible tokens. This is in the crypto space. If you don't know what an NFT is, I'm going to give you an overly simple explanation of what an NFT is. For this explanation, online collectibles verified by blockchain technology. There are booming opportunities right now with high reward, but also high risk. Again, it's crypto. There's always a chance that you purchase an NFT with high demand right now, but loses value later. Top five platforms to get started for flipping NFTs are going to be OpenSea.io, Rarible.com, NiftyGateway.com, SuperRare.co, and Foundation.app. Next is flipping websites. If you have the marketing and business skills mixed with the eye to recognize potential opportunities within websites, this is going to be for you. Opportunity lies in flipping websites that previous owners didn't know how to monetize and grow. Here are the top places you can go to buy and sell websites, flippa.com, bizbysell.com, and empireflippers.com. Be careful though, there are several ways to get scammed where websites have inflated traffic or backlinks coming from spammy or black hat web sources. Drum roll, this brings me to what I believe is the number one way to make money online, which I think has the greatest upside and flexibility and long-term growth. This is building an audience of true fans. How many fans do you think you need to make a good living of six figures a year or more? Not millions, not even tens of thousands, but a thousand. What's the catch? This needs to be a thousand true fan. This has been popularized by 4-Hour Workweek author and famous podcaster Tim Ferriss to make a living as a craftsperson, a photographer, musician, designer, author, animator, app maker, entrepreneur, inventor. You need only thousands of true fans. A true fan is defined as a fan that will buy anything that you produce. 
from Kevin Kelly from A Thousand True Fans blog post. I believe the best way to create a thousand true fans online is through creating high value content. The sky is the limit. You don't have to stop at a thousand true fans. Think of Oprah who has a 2.6 billion net worth. Think of Richard Branson and he's worth 4.4 billion dollars. Is it easy? No. It's gonna be hard. It's a hard hard grind but in my opinion it's worth it, especially if you want to make money doing something that you love. Developing your personal brand is the key to monetizing your passion online, quoted by Gary Vaynerchuk. Look at Gary Vaynerchuk. He started out online creating YouTube videos on wine to help grow his dad's liquor store business. He diversified into a variety of businesses like Vayner Mentors, a premium consulting service, Vayner Sports Athlete Representation, and then the overall holding company of all of this is Vayner X, the holding company for other brands and other businesses. And this can be attributed to Gary's hard work and hustle and the love for building businesses and as an entrepreneur. But what made things easier is having the attention of an audience he built who love and trusts his personal brand, which is him. The math is simple. You would just need to earn about $100 in profit from each true fan because 1000 times 100 equals 100,000 made each year. The hard part is building the audience of true fans. But after you have, there are 15 profitable ways of ethically making money from your audience. Each way can generate a $100 profit from each fan. So dance on that subscribe button now because I'm going to be covering that in the next video.